According to experts, there is a reciprocal relationship between music and society. People can affect music, music can affect people. I think it's a relationship, like a, like a back and forth relationship. Whether music is to be explicit or not, it depends on what population the artists are focusing on. In, in, in real society, we kind of wear two faces. There's the way we talk to each other, and then there's the way we talk with our parents in the room or our teachers in the room and things like that. And I think some of the artists today have been raised in a way where there is no distinction. And I think some of them have made a conscious decision of, I want to address this population and I don't really care about that population. This might be used by artists and songwriters to attract more audience, but overdoing it can result in some backlash. It's not so much it offends me as it's just it's unnecessary. It doesn't add to the song and in fact I think it limits your audience. Music like Mexican corridos has evolved and it has a lot to do with what society thinks is relevant today. They, they were sort of in defense of the working man or the people the people on the bottom. If you fast forward to now, I think beginning in the maybe the late 80s, early 90s, it became about glorifying narco, narco trafico. Another genre that is very popular within the Latino community is reggaeton, but some people describe it as too sexual, especially for the younger generations that listen to it. If you tell kids, don't listen to reggaeton because it's too sexual, or don't listen to the, right? what are kids gonna do? They're gonna go for the very thing that the parents don't want them to do because it's a form of rebelling. Music has become more explicit as generations pass, but it is more accepted as society has and keeps becoming more open-minded. Reporting for Border Scene, Roberto Sainz.